another Washington area business, a, a well-known business, or what remains of it anyway, the business that achieved local fame by satisfying our sweet tooths around here. A lot of people remember Giffords. There was no second to their Swiss chocolate sauce and their big top and the Alpine split, the banana split. And I found my beautiful wife from Giffords. Some of my fondest memories of working at Giffords are my co-workers. It was like a family. Prime and horror. You know, when you ask me about Giffords ice cream, that's the first thing that comes into my mind. Five years ago, Robert Gifford was all smiles, announcing what seemed to be an expansion through franchising of the Giffords name. But the central operation was troubled, and by last April, the last of the four family-owned stores was closing. About that time, Bob Gifford vanished, vanished, vanished. What level of betrayal? This man was in charge of this beautiful, nostalgic thing that all these people love and believe in, and, uh, you know, he pissed it away. Poor Bobby was a kid of whom a lot was expected, but a kid who really wasn't able to deliver everything that his parents expected. He would be always hiding from the inevitable. You know, the train is coming down the track. It's not stopping, and that was Robert get a great education, you come in, you think you can run it, and then the business fails. I'm sure it was a very traumatic event for him. This wasn't his calling in life. The whole thing was a game. After it went bankrupt, the successors were pretty shoddy operators. I am an entrepreneur. I am an oppor opportunist. But I wanted to get into ice cream. My lawyer at the time informed me that I should have shown up. The dispute was, who had earliest rights to the name? These people are simply trying to capitalize on my name. It just feels somewhat sleazy. Fake recipes were sold after Giffords went bankrupt, but the real recipes were put in a lockbox somewhere. None of it made sense that anybody would, would phony up documents when the assets were seized by the bankruptcy court and packaged up in, in, in their offices with body bags. And These people were left holding the bag. You know, no matter who tries to revive it now, no matter what version Giffords takes, it's always going to be attached to this legacy. You're never going to escape Bob Giffords. The man pulled off a heist. 